Okay, I agree. If you show me a verse in the Quran where Allah orders to kill infants, I stop being Muslim. But wait for me to open the Quran in English. Okay, I agree. I will give you my time. The verse in the front of you. Chapters 18, verse number 74. Everybody heard you, and we are recording your voice. You said, if I show you that's Allah ordering, killing kids in the Quran, you will leave Islam. Your mic. Where is the verse? Give me the number of surah and the number of the verse. I am opening my translation in English. Okay? Give me the verse. Listen to me carefully, Brazil. Are you nervous? I gave you already. I gave it to you as a link. I told you the number. 1874. Your mic. You want to read it from the link? This is the official government's website of Saudi Arabia, or you want to read it from your book, it's up to you. Your business. Your mic. Hey, is that an order from Allah to kill a kid? Look, look, what does the verse say? So they went on till they went, met a boy and slew him. Is God ordering to kill a boy? Or is he narrating a story that happened in Egypt by people like you? Is he? Is he ordering to kill a baby? Like you got? Fuck you! <laughs> Brazil, I'm not going to speak bad to you. It's okay, I understand. You are getting hot. Yes, it's your God Allah saying that to you and to Him. And I can show you that from the verse. And don't get excited, okay? Because the one who will be screwed in the room is your God and you, not me. And everybody will see that. Now, I will go and I will show you that your God Allah is the one who said that to this man. By the way, this man is the Prophet Al-Khudr. This is not a man from Egypt, you ignorant. He is Al-Khudr. He is a Prophet of Allah. Now, what? I am a liar? No problem. No problem. And there is a guy with him, his name is Moses, and this is the prophet Moses. Now, to show everybody who is the liar, who is not, we will go a few verses before. And we will see who is the one is a liar and who is the... And you know what? We will go to the explanation. Why we want to waste our time or your time? Is that fair, guys? Islamic explanation. Whatever the Islamic explanation says, we have to accept not a Christian explanation, not Jewish explanation, not anyone explanation. Here we go. And by the way, if you don't like this explanation, whatever explanation you want, because all of them, they agree. Let us give you the explanation. Here we go. This is the explanation by Al Jalalain. Don't tell me you don't know who is Al Jalalain, right? Read for us. Your mic. This is the Prophet Al Khadr and the Prophet Moses. Your mic. Certainly you have done an evil thing. Certainly 
you have done an evil thing. This act was not approved in the Quran. Certainly it is an evil thing. Go and study. Go. <laughs> Potato to the verse number 80 and you will see this is approved by Allah. The same chapter, 1880, your mic. And why you are not reading the explanation? What's wrong with you? Your mic. I know your Quran by heart. I know Quran better than your prophet even. Now read for me. 1880, the mic is yours. Okay, where God has approved this action, and as for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared that lest he should not make disobedience with their father. Where does God approving this action? As in the Bible? Tell me, where? Don't you see it? to Allah and men the prophet he killed the boy why because Allah he told him the future that when he grow he will leave Islam he will not be good to Allah and man you're my <laughs> Islam does not teach th these things Islam order Muslim to defend himself and your God order Christians to attack even his father read for me for God's sake don't give me speeches you are in the corner you promise if I give you the proof you will leave Islam it says it clearly why he killed him he's a youth he's a little kid his parents were believers believer in what in Islam and we feared that he would grieve them, which means in the future, and he will be bad to Allah and man. Your mic. Answer. And by the way, you can choose any explanation you want, and all of them, they are saying it clearly. What I am saying. In the front of the room, a challenge. And everybody is noticing that you are refusing to read the explanation. Because why? You don't want to use the explanation simply because you know that the explanation will expose your God. Allah is the one who told him about the future. Allah is the one who told him that he will not be a good boy to Islam. So Allah ordered him to kill him. Your mind. And by the way, this is your Islamic explanation of Ibn Abbas. If you don't like a Jalalain, Open it. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad himself, explaining the verse. You're mine. Allah is not telling, is not approving. Allah is narrating the story. Why did they that? In their mind. Okay? Not Allah is approving the story. They did that according to their mind. No problem. Read for me verse number 81. It says it clearly. This is Allah order. Your mic. 